Let me see here. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's canine educator. My face is really bright, and I apologize, but uh, I don't think I can get over that here. So, anyway, I'm going to try this again. Hold on. No, I'm not. Here we go. Boss Hog, what's good? Um, anyway, hello guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am going to give all the dog owners out there very valuable, life-changing advice. Thank you guys for letting me know you're here. What's up? What's up? Good morning. You must live far away. Good afternoon here. Um, life-changing advice, guys. I'm just gonna I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about some some tips and some things that can just really change your relationship with your dog for the better. And I'm talking about something as simple as bringing your dog for a walk or exercising your dog. The benefits of exercising your dog and, and going out for just a simple walk is so, so, so important um, that it's, it's, not, it's not utilized as much as, as maybe it should be. Hello, hello everybody. Thank you guys. Really quick, everyone like this video um, really quick so we can let everybody else know that we're, we're on. Hello, Barbara. Hello, everybody. Um, so what does, do what does walking your dog do? Well, what does exercise do for us? There's so many activities and so many things that we do as humans. Yoga, running, biking, hiking, swimming, uh, meditation to be at Zen or be calm and, and cool and collective, if you will. Um, there's so many outlets that we have as humans where if we have a hard day or if we're stressed or there's a lot going on, we go and do these things to, to get right and to get mental and to, to, to be at a better place in our lives, both mentally and physically. And so I want you guys to understand what a dog is. I mean, it's an animal. It has four legs. It has the ability to chase and kill its own food and live off the land and travel all over miles and miles a day. And we have them in small little houses. And I don't care how big your house is, it's small because it's a dog, it's an animal. So the enclosures that they live in, if you will, is considerably small compared to what a dog is normally used to. Um, Wussy, stay. Wussy, come here. Good boy. Good boy. I have uh, some dogs walking through here. Um, so the importance of exercising your dog, I'm going to go over some of the benefits, but think about what it does for us. Think about all the benefits that it does for us. It's insane how much that we utilize. Anyway, me, like if I'm, if I'm anxious or I'm frustrated or I just have a lot built up in here, which happens a lot because I have a lot of coffee, um, I go for a run and I feel a hundred times better. And so dogs are animals and you have to understand that when they get built up and they build all this information up and they build all this physical stuff up, they have to release that. And so um, just bringing your dog for a walk can change a lot of different things. Um, now, depending on the breed of dog that you have, that'll certainly change the amount of exercise that they can do or they can't do. Um, like, you know, my St. Bernard here, who's literally sleeping right here. He went for a walk um, around my facility and he's tired, whooped. Uh, you have a Border Collie or a Shepherd or a mix, a Lab mix or something. They're going to need a lot more physical and mental stimulation in order to exert that probably properly. Um, so I don't want to get into too much of that, but breed specific is definitely a thing and you'll have to, you'll have to kind of figure out what, what is good for your dog. Um, but moving forward, uh, there's so many benefits to, to, to working with your dog and, and to, to help them get on a better level. And when a dog goes out for a walk, they're stimulated with their mind and their body. Uh, they smell things. Um, they're moving, they're looking, they're hearing. It's so stimulating for them. Sitting inside of a house all day is not. I mean, it's their comfort zone. It's where they want to be. It's where they're at. That's totally fine. But on a different level, you have to make sure that, we'll see. you have to make sure that you're, you're getting the dog stimulated every single day and, and making, helping the dog become more fulfilled in a more primal way. So again, going out and smelling and hearing and seeing the birds, it's, it's very stimulating for them and it really helps them out on a major, 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 major level. So walking your dog at least once a day 
is crucial. Um, again, if you have, you know, the breed specific is huge, but at least once a day, a couple times a day, um, would be, would be really, really great. What it does for, for what I see is I won't even, like if somebody brings a dog in and has behavioral issues and I ask them how much they're exercising their dog and they only say that they go into the backyard, I won't work with them or I cho- sometimes I choose not to work with them because um, it's kind of like calling a mechanic and saying my car won't start. And I say, well, did you put any gas in it? Well, no. You have to do that? Yes, you have to do that. Um, giving your dog a walk and giving your dog mental and physical exercise is so crucial for a dog's mental and physical state of mind. And so there's been a lot of times where I tell people, if I'm going to work with you or you're going to work with us, you have to do your part and at least walk in your dog at least twice, one or two times a day. If you're having behavioral issues, three to four times a day would be probably more beneficial. And so uh, what it does is it decreases anxiety with dogs it decreases stress with dogs. Everything that it does for us decompresses all of that pent up energy, but dogs are animals. They have way more than you do. They have way more energy and way more stamina than, than, than any of us out there. And so it limits the obesity problem that we have here in the United States um, and it just decompresses all of that. It helps with behavioral issues. It helps with um, introducing a new person into the family or uh, a new individual that's going to be around in the family that, excuse me, that is going to be around. Like you say, my dog's a little sketchy. My dog's a little weird about somebody. Just bringing them for a walk will help them introduce each other. Um, Bringing a new dog into the pack will help them introduce each other. The the benefits of, of doing that is so good. And the other thing is, is more importantly, it's relationship building for you and your dog. Just going out on a, on a beautiful walk and just enjoying like, you know, like look at my guy here. Right, buddy. That's my buddy right there. I just brought him for a walk and he has just pooped. And it was just cool for us to go out and just, we're doing that together. We're we're releasing that together. Um, But it's the benefits are just so, so, so big. So I wanted to make this simple video to just tell people out there that if you're having behavioral issues, if you're, even if you're just doing a basic obedience training and you're having maybe problems or getting frustrated in that, bring your dog for a walk. Let them decompress stuff first. When dogs come into the facility, I might tell them, we have a couple dogs in right now from Virginia and New Jersey uh, for out-of-state programs on the weekends. I tell people, just walk your dog around for like 10 minutes before you start working um, because they need to like incorporate that exercise. So anyway, I hope everyone's doing so, so, so well. I deeply appreciate everybody here on the YouTube um, community here that we've created. Um, I'm going to make this live and then after, if you guys can leave some comments below in this video. Um... So, th- so thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, the Great Dane. Okay, I am going to say this. And then I, w- I want to talk to you guys in the comments. So save your comments for now. And I'll talk to you in the comments when I end the video when I can send on my computer. So um, uh, hello, Buffalo. Hello, everybody. But we're going to talk in the comments after this. So wait one second. So uh, great, the Great Dane Jake, we clipped his nails. So he is doing so much better. We finally clipped his nails for the first time in... His adult life, he was able to go for a nice long walk. So he's doing very, very good. Thank you guys so much for wondering. Um, if you haven't yet, you can check out my Patreon account at Patreon slash Upstate Canine. I'll leave a link below. Uh, you can support me on there on my podcast. Um, and I think that's all I have for today. So thank you guys so much. Remember to walk your dog. Um, walking your dog is so, so, so important. It's just so simple and so basic and it's so good for them. Um, so anyway, guys, let's, I'm going to end this video, leave the comments, uh, below and we can have a discussion. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.